Alright folks, here we go. Time to play some Space Station 13. This is Goon, so you got a wide variety of jobs. But as this is a round in progress, sorry, I almost belched really loud on that. I'm gonna be a uh, talk show host. It's good old cog map. Everything seems normal. Got a record sleeve. Let's go ahead and pull that record out. And uh, let's play some music for these fine people. What's the name of this record? Uh, Mr. Farty's Super Fun Circus of Farts. 1958. There we go. I'll just throw this on the floor. All right. Before you find yourself confused by a lack of recent update in radio tapes, checkers, checkers. Like, I'm just gonna make things work, and I'm gonna turn on the radio, and I'm gonna begin my radio show. All right. Uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen. Please enjoy these soothing sounds of radio music coming to you live from deep space. I'll be on the line to take your calls and discuss anything space news, space weather, and space business. That being said, Please keep in mind, this station is entirely supported and, of course, paid for, endorsed, and run by Nanotrazen. Oh. First color, you're on the air. gonna wait. Hello? Hello? Who is this? This is Randolph P. Checkers and the Randolph P. Checkers Deep Spes FM show. Just wanna know. Just wanna know what, bud? The AI's name is Shodan, so that's going to be fine. Yep, this is going to be great. Just going to wait and see what happens. Da da da. Is that the record begun? What albums do you have this shift? Well, I've. Got a lot of songs. Uh, um, your usual space trash, space Euro trash, space Euro beats, also trash, and some space jazz. I get all things available. All things. We got a wraith, says Cameron Stern. I should probably take that album out of there. Or I should take another album out of here. Oh, yeah. I can't just feed another one in, so it's not one of them auto players. Alright. Let's just wait and see what happens. Alright, sounds real lovely. How's the album art collection? Well, it's all the same uh, Nano Trace and uh, cover uh, cover art, so you know, extra bland with a side of boring. Thank you for calling. Bye now.
You can feel heat emanating from the record player. You should probably wait a while before touching it. It's kind of old and you don't want to break it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is your news hour. That being said, I have reports that Space Station 13 has reports of a wraith. Wraiths in space. What is next? Let's find out what you guys think about scary space ghosts. Next color will, of course, be uh, on the line shortly to discuss the nature of ghosts in space. Standby colors. We have an actual Eldrick horror in our studio. Sir, if you would please state for my studio audience your name and occupation. He says, How's your radio, Ryan? I'm just going to play this straight. Blaster, Haster's uncle. Welcome, sir. Welcome to our radio program. So, can I get you some tea or a coffee or other refreshment? I think a radio host in space would have to bleed, be, like, completely unflappable. Good to be on, checkers. Good to have you, sir. Good to have you. I mean, you know. Yes, please. Do you have some blood to put in it? I'll check. Stand by and please watch the microphone. Let our listeners know what you have in mind for the future. As I get you a delicious beverage. I'll be right back. See what I can do about helping him out here. I'll get him a cup of coffee at least, you know? I mean, I may not have blood, but maybe he has some iron. Please don't look at my pin. That's my pin. You know, I want, I, I want to make sure that he's comfortable at least. I mean, this is a space radio show. I gotta, I gotta smoke. All right. All right, let's go ahead and uh, put that in there. All right. All right, bud. All we had was coffee. But knowing Nano Tracing, it's not quite really uh, made without any sort of pain. So you could say the blood is in every bean through the virtues of human suffering. Okay, we got a color. You're on the air with checkers. Gotta try to get cigarettes out of this thing. And that's, that's the thing. Huh. Grab a cigarette for yourself and throw me one, bud. We're not afraid of no tentacle monsters, checkers. The crush will be over to choke slam it and show it who's the real man here. Wow. Strong words, Mr. Crusher. Looks like our guest is accepting your challenge. If you want to come on over, we'll be glad to arrange a throwdown in the squared circle, or at least our studio lobby. Huh. Thanks for the smoke blaster. All right. Oh, wow. All right. 
Okay, Crusher. We'll stand by and wait for your arrival. Anyways, back to our interview with a horrible creature from beyond the stars. All right, let's put that back in there. Uh, this one's going to be called uh, Echo of Farts in B Minor. Anyways, sir, where were we? Oh, yes. That's right. What do you think about our sponsor, Nanotracin? I mean, an Eldritch Horror from Beyond really doesn't bother me so much. It's about continuing to present an interesting show. Well, they're responsible for at least 11% of the suffering in this galaxy, so they are okay with me. Oh, all right. Interesting. Interesting. So what made you come on the show today? Destiny or boredom? Now they could offer me or my nephew some souls and then we'd be cool. I mean, I, I kind of want to know what compels an Eldritch Horror to come onto a radio show. That's just me. I mean, you got the whole universe to play with here. Well, I was just in a, uh, well, I was just in the area feasting on some brains, you know, and I thought I could pop in. Well, we are certainly appreciative. So what about this guy, the Crusher, was it? He plans on coming on in and fighting you or something. What are your thoughts on that? They play some space music. Oh, I saw some movement out there. Oh, every now and then some human thinks they are like really cool and sweet or something. So are you in any fear of your semi-mortal peril here? I mean, I'm just wondering. Oh, it sounds like he's arrived. Welcome to the studio. Please commence combat. So our Eldrick Horror is in one corner and a wrestler by the name of Crusher, was it? All right. Proceed. Proceed, please. I'm ready when you are, Mr. Crusher, says the Aldrich Horror. You're a lot bigger than I thought, says the Crusher. All right, shake hands and let's get her on. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fight for the ages. Crusher just slapped the uh, ancient horror. And the ancient horror just kind of tore him into pieces. Crusher hasn't given up. There's a lot of farting and screaming right now. 
Not sure if you can hear it. The Crusher is trying to get a grip on the ancient uh, horror that is Blaster. Blaster is giving a good show. Our studio is rapidly falling apart from the sheer chaos of this event. It looks like the Crusher is on the ground and he's being savaged. This is a brutal throwdown and a good time to remind you all to turn on your suit sensors and always alert medical if you have a problem. But that being said, Crusher has been crushed completely. His ass is off his body and he's been reduced to a pile of pieces. Well done, Blaster. I'd say you defended your title with ease. Sorry about your studio checkers. It's quite alright, I expect this. Why we have a janitor. Speaking of, janitor to the studio to clean up the remains of human beings, blood, and gore. Next up, we're going to cover the farm reports for botany in this sector. Looks like they're going to try to fight him. Maybe. Ah! Alright, let's see what's going on. We welcome our ancient horror and no doubt overlord Blaster in his crusade to turn reality into a sandwich. Next up, I'll find another smooth record of space jazz. Seems like they're all trying to fight him. Oh. This seems bad. Your mind feels frail and vulnerable. What's the name of this record? Uh, Johnny B. Bad and the Toad Sitters. Well, I'll say this. It seems like that the universe may be collapsing. Say about your windows in your bathroom. But that being said, our guest is most polite and has offered his sincerest apologies. Blaster, I welcome you, and I hope you find what you're looking for. Best of luck, sir. Thanks, Checkers. It was good talking to you. You're welcome, bud. Maybe I'll come on again sometime. Next up, as promised, the future of corn. Corn, as you know, is a favorite treat among spacemen, containing many kernels 
of wisdom and delicious buttery flavor. Corn is a staple of many spacemen's diet. But is corn corn? It has been suggested that nano trace and corn is in fact not corn at all. Stand by, we have a caller. You're on the air. You're right, Nano Trace and Corn is actually processed crew members. Yes, that's the report we have. That the remains of assistants everywhere are turned into delicious, buttery corn for our mouth holes. That being s Yeah, I just hung up on him by stepping away. That being said, who's afraid? of eating an assistant now and then. I posit that nano tracin corn is in fact a necessary diversion from our daily suffering. Next up, a real conspiracy theory. Reports of the giant bee of nanotracin is in fact a lie. It has never existed, nor will ever exist, as are similar tales of Macho Man. These things cannot harm you because they are not real. They are merest the figments Wow, can I spell? Figments of your imagination. I'm just gonna smoke my cigarette. Hi there. Hello, sir. Please take a seat. Join in our wonderful radio programming what do you think about these rumors of bees which we all know are in fact uh, not true what rumors are those that somewhere out there, deep in space, is a giant bee from which all, yeah, from which all authority of nanotracin actually derives. That business, that business that nanotracin conducts is no more than the established once of, my god. Not in a moat. No. Mother of God. Macho Man. Macho Man has arrived on my satellite. Macho Man is in the studio. It's me, Macho Man. Sir, 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 it is an honor. I thought you were a mere rumor. It's been said you could, with one act, throw a man into a nuclear hurricane of explosive force. I took a lot of cocaine, he says. Is this true or another lie? Mm. 
That's true. Can you demonstrate this for our studio audience? I, I would love to see. I, I, I've played Macho Man on a handful of occasions, and it's always like my birthday. It's more than my birthday, actually. It's something I actually celebrate. I need a volunteer. I eagerly volunteer. All right. Let's see what happens. Do your worst, sir. Do your worst. I am spinning. I feel like I made a mistake. Oh, God. Victory! Yeah! When we pulled into Cargo Bay and beat a shotgun shells, the QM yelled at me to stop a banging on his belt. We wanted some munitions for our glorious valid hunt, but found too late that they just hated us, we tied the cunts. And we're banned from Cargo, everyone. Banned from Cargo just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round here and up and stealing off their war. Now when he doesn't want us anymore. I started as a cargo tech and I had a sin these comps. So I did what anyone would do and ordered 20 bombs. Hey, but that? then an NG with a welder hit me and set me ablaze. So cargo set on fire too when the server lacked for days. And we're banned from cargo, everyone. Banned from cargo just, just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round gearing up and stealing all their war. Now NT doesn't want us anymore Worked the shift as King Cargo decided to succeed The cargo texts were sent out to take all the things we need Foolishly, SEC challenged us and all of them did fall The only thing that stopped us was that goddamn shuttle call And we're banned from, from cargo, cargo everyone Banned from cargo just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round of gearing up and stealing all their war. But now NT doesn't want us anymore. Take it from here, Stagger. I heard those fucking techies were building an engine. They didn't heed my warnings, they constructed an SM. Just to let them know who really is the chief. I cut the power, locked the doors, and now they're all ground beef. And we're banned from cargo, everyone. Banned from cargo just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round gearing up and stealing all their war. Now NT doesn't want us anymore. Solo! Banned from cargo just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round gearing up and stealing all their war. Now when he doesn't want us anymore, a pizza party is reward enough for all the cargo techs. Might as well still work for this because of the nervous wrecks. Any other suggestion just might be a side of scene. Just another fucking ship on Space Station 15. And we're banned from cargo, everyone. Banned from cargo just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round gearing up and stealing all their own. 
now and he doesn't want us anymore because we're a job band